Welcome to Lixer, the future of education and collaboration. Lixer is the fusion of lasting impact media and Rhino XR Studios. I'm Don LaPlume and I look forward to connecting with you. Unlike explorers of the past, you will not have to brave storms, hunger or the high seas to find new worlds. Here, lasting impact media and Rhino XR Studios have come together to create a learning experience like no other. A place where we can safely collaborate and explore new worlds together. Whether you've entered this experience using VR goggles, a desktop, or a laptop, you'll enjoy your stay. One of the coolest things you'll learn is that we're gonna give you multiple ways to earn VR equipment and computers. Now, it's really important that I point out that we are in beta release right now, which means things won't be quite perfect just yet but they're gonna be really cool nonetheless. Our dev and content teams are working incredibly hard to create an experience for you and take full immersion learning to a level never before seen. I wanna say congratulations to everyone here who has already subscribed to our Lixer Founders Beta Package. I say congratulations because as things get better and better, with more and more content, you'll never pay a higher price for the rest of your life with us. Now, if you're here just checking us out and you've not yet subscribed, that's okay. We're glad you're here and we invite you to subscribe before you leave if you'd like to, to lock in that same Lixer Founders Beta Special. Now, there are two more things I wanna say before I turn this over to our lead developer, Robert Carlisle, who's also known as DNA Elite in the metaverse, by the way. Uh, number one. We have two layers of worlds and experiences that you can explore. The first are open worlds which do not require a subscription uh, to visit or to collaborate. And they're open to anyone who chooses to access the metaverse on Sanzar's platform. That is both good and bad. It means everyone has access, but it also means that we can't ensure those public areas are family friendly. The next level or layer of worlds are our subscriber worlds. Those worlds you must have a subscription to enter in our subscriber worlds, you'll find that the atmosphere is family friendly, positive, and respectful. We ask that as you are in those worlds learning, collaborating, and exploring, always stay positive, be respectful, and understand you may not always agree with each other, but everyone is human, everyone has value, opinions, and ideas. And the rule we follow here is really simple. Treat everyone you meet in the way that you wish to be treated yourself. Yes, it's the golden rule. Number two is explore, meet new people, join our networking mastermind groups and take all the courses you like. Core courses come with your subscription, even the Founders Beta subscription. Non-core will be available at different prices depending on the course and we'll even show you how you can earn non-core courses, so stay tuned. Now it is my pleasure to introduce to you DNA Elite our lead developer and world creator. Robert, take it away. Don, thank you very much for that kind introduction. Yes, my name is Robert Carlisle, also known as DNA Lee in the virtual reality worlds. This is a fantastic time for all of us. How cool is it to be in a VR world, actually immerse yourself in education. So super excited to be here and to take you folks on a tour, get you started with navigating your avatar. Okay, so we are in world and right in front of you folks, I have a keyboard and mouse and this will help you navigate your avatar. Okay, so first and foremost, the four keys you really want to be concerned with is W, A, S, and D, okay? And then also for your mouse, uh, your left clicker, so right here, your left clicker, and then your right clicker, okay? And then also on top, the roller on your mouse, which you can already see how it's already putting out a teleporter. So this actually helps when, you know, navigating through spaces. If you just push down on the roller on the top of your mouse right there, and then when you let off, you'll actually transport to that space right there so let me go ahead and transport to the middle of the aisle right there and boom there we are so okay so let's go ahead and go back to the wasd now for folks that you know might have uh some con uh, control issues with the mouse what you can also do is hit f7 and what that's going to do is it's going to put a little circle 
in the center of your screen right there. So now what's happening is your mouse actually uh, controls your view around your avatar. So then really all you need to do is push the W to move forward, okay? So let me just go ahead and demonstrate that. I'm gonna go ahead and push W right now. And then I'm just gonna turn my mouse to the left. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn my mouse to walk up the stairs right here. And I'm just holding down the W and I'm walking. Now, if, if you haven't noticed, I actually pushed the shift button, okay? So when you push shift, it'll actually go from walking to running. So this is running, let me push it. Now I'm, I'm walking, now let me push it again. I may be running. Now let me go ahead and walk. And then I'm gonna go ahead and push it again. And then the space bar is jump. So how cool is that? So that is the basic controls of navigating your avatar. So yes, of course it's gonna take some practice, but we have designed the worlds to give you some open space that you can go out there, navigate your avatar, have fun, you know, jump over, you know, cliffs and you know, some people run into walls, but you know what? You're not gonna get her here because this is virtual reality. Uh, so this is the desktop mode, very exciting stuff. And the next uh, presentation I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you how to navigate inside a VR headset because a lot of people want to have the full immersive experience while being inside uh, virtual reality. And folks, all I can say is, you know, the experience is, uh, I mean, I can't explain it. You know, this 2D screen just cannot explain the feeling and the expression and just being having that uh, immersive virtual presence inside the world so how cool is that to have that virtual presence and actually take uh, courses inside the virtual university we're really excited that you're here and i hope you found value with that so the next thing we're going to do is i'm going to jump into a vr headset and show you those controls okay okay so welcome back and now i'm in a vr headset where you can see that my hands you can move around you can move your head around and it brings your avatar to life so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the, the control, the, the main menu here. And as you can see, you have the codex right here, which is the earth. You click on that, and then you can choose from where you want to explore inside the world, okay? So if, if you want to go to visit worlds, you just click on visit and you can select all worlds from right here. Uh, of course, first time coming in, what you're going to do is go ahead and just go to the top right hand corner and type in getting started. It's going to be getting started with uh, Elixir right here. So all you got to do is once you see this, this picture right here, all you got to do is click visit just like that. And we're actually going to load into that world. Okay. All right. So I'm actually in first person right now. As you can see, you can see my hands in front of me. Uh, if I click down on the right toggle, it will actually pop me out of my avatar and I can look at myself as third person. So this really helps when navigating, especially first time uh, getting in VR. I'm just going to say this, folks, you know, it's going to take time uh, to get for your brain to get used to uh, these graphics and stuff and how you move around because technically you're almost like a superhero being inside these vr worlds because you can jump over buildings and you can spin really fast and stuff so of course if you are not if if your brain has not been developed for you to do that uh what's going to happen is it's kind of like the fight or flight the uh the fluids in in your brain you know i'm not a scientist here but all I know is like the fluids, you know, in your brain, if it's not moving right, it sends a signal to your stomach saying something's not right. Therefore, you're going to get nauseated. So some of the things to be prepared for. If you are going to spin around in here, my recommendation is shut your eyes in your VR headset or you have to move your head with the VR headset so the fluids go with the visuals. OK, so let me just this will get you dizzy. OK. So what you have to do is if, if you're going to turn to the right, you have to look to the right in real life. So like just like this. So that's one of the ways that you can eliminate from getting nausea inside the VR headset. OK, now the other thing is let's go back into the main menu. And, uh, you know, most important is, you know, you might have people that might not have their mic working in world. So what you can do is say, hey, go ahead and jump into chat so you can have your chat window open here. I'm just going to move this over to the side right here. And then, of course, if someone's inside world, they, you know, the chat is going to be right here. You can see what's going on. Okay. 
Now, if you have a friend, you can basically just click right on, uh, right on the little mail right there, and you can actually have a conversation. So let me move this right here. And uh, because you're in VR, uh, it's going to be kind of difficult to type, but you can do it. Um, but I just say just do in voice and you watch what they say in text back to you. Okay, so there's many ways you can actually conversate with somebody inside VR. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's talk about navigating inside VR using the chat, uh, the chat box, okay? So this is the chat right here. Uh, nearby is basically anybody that's in the room. So if anybody that's in world, their, their avatars will pop up right here and you can have a conversation with them, okay? Now say you wanna find a friend, okay? This little green icon shows that they're actually on the platform, they're in world and they're available. Now, if they're not available, this little teleport right here will say teleport not available. They're either maybe in another world that might be private or they might be in their home world or they, they just might not uh, be visible. They, they might have their uh, location set off or shut off so that you can't find where they're at, okay? And it's, it's for their privacy, okay? Um, so if I wanted to teleport, say, to Retro Metallic, all I would have to do is is click on the teleport to friend, and I would actually teleport basically an arm length distance from him. Now, if I wanted to search for a friend, I just click on there. I can, of course, if I kn knew the ID, I just type in their ID, and then they would pop up. And if they're available, I could just click right on there, and I can go right to where they're at. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, jump out of that. Uh, so, okay, most important, if your avatar being in a VR headset, sometimes the sensors, your hand sensors and, and the sensors on the VR headset aren't lined right, so it might discombobble your avatar. If you see your avatar discombobble, what you want to do is go where it says set height. Let me go ahead and click that. And all you got to do is hit detect. And it says extend your arms outward, then hold any button. So let me go ahead and uh, hold my arms out. Let me just hold the button. And then once you do that, it gives the height, and I'm gonna hit OK, and boom, you should be recalibrated and reset. Okay. So let's talk about like if you're going to like a dance event. This is really exciting stuff right here. So of course you can be in VR and you can be dancing inside your headset, and you can be exercising, doing jumping jacks, and everything like that. But what if you go to a, go actual music concert? Well, folks, we have fantastic emotes here. And it's not just for dancing. So let me go ahead and show you what we got here. Let me go ahead and move this over here so you can see this. So let me go ahead and hit the dancing move right there. So as you can see, I got dance moves, okay? Now, of course, this is not me dancing in real life, but the thing is, is this is very interactive. It's a conversation starter. Someone say, wow, I really like that dance move. And you could say, well, hey, I got it off the Sansar store. Here's the link, right? So let me show you some other ones. So say I was going to go golfing, you know, hey, this is my golf swing right here. Um, let's look. Okay. Well, if I was looking around, you know, looking at the crowd, you know, so there's some emotes in here that are fantastic. Uh, here's one that you can wave. But of course, uh, being in VR, I can already make these moves. Okay. So I can wave just with, with my VR headset even. Okay, or my toggles with my VR headset. This gives it more of a interactive and more realistic uh, expression. So let's go ahead. Uh, I just want to show you the other emotes. So say you know you're in the crowd and, and you're seeing a presenter on stage. You can actually say, "Hey, I really like that," or you know that that's interesting, or you know you're like, "What? What's going on?" <laughs> or you can say, "That's electrifying," um, or "Hey, you're on fire," you know. Uh, or that's toast. Uh, so there's cool expressions in here as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and exit out of that. And folks, I'm not going to spend too much time because I want you folks to explore and have fun in this setting right here. But the next step will be once you get your VR headset on or once you get Sansar loaded up to your PC desktop and you're navigating around and you get to the Elixir get starting. Uh, but again, I mean, being in the free worlds, you might have people come in that might not be your taste or whatever. And the thing is, is there's a way to control that. So if I wanted to uh, block somebody, okay? So say, let's go ahead and open up the friends right here. Okay, so I can actually click on this person right here. 
Okay, so you have the options of messaging them. You can remove them as a friend. You could report them to the community saying, hey, you know, this person came in and they were just like swearing up a storm and, and I didn't appreciate it. It kind of made all my other guests felt uncomfortable. You can actually report them. Uh, right here, you can actually send them money. Say, you know, say there's something that you want them to do within in the world or wherever and you, you're going to hire them. You can actually send them money. You can actually block them, meaning that you have to send them a friend request for them to be your friend again. OK, now, because I'm a moderator, I can kick them out of my uh, experience. I can mute them. I can put them on megaphone. I can take them off megaphone and I can actually message them. So there's a lot of fantastic uh you know tools that you can use to uh, moderate inside the world and the next thing that you need to do when you get into this world right here is see that teleport right there that's going to start your adventure that's going to take you to the the lasting impact university so let's go ahead and go there now and then i'm going to finish up this video here okay so i'm going to go ahead and be in first person here so all you got to do is walk through the portal just like this and you're going to teleport right over to Lasting Impact Media University. All right, folks, this is the end right here of the tutorial. I really appreciate you joining us and allowing me to share time with you. Uh, folks, all I can say is go to the back of the room, sign up for the affiliate program, get registered, and get started today on something that's going to be bigger than all of us. VR for education, it is here to stay, and we hope to see you in the world. Bye-bye now. Take care.